Here we are. All right, here we are with the air setup. Down here you'll see a Viair 350C compressor. Uh, the 350C compressor is the smallest 100% duty cycle compressor that Viair makes. Uh, that was important because I didn't want to have to worry about duty cycles and waiting for the compressor to cool off. Over here you'll see a Horn Blasters two gallon tank. Uh, I chose this because I like to wear uh, everything fit together. You have half inch fittings on the outsides, quarter inch top and bottom, and then quarter inch on the side there. You see my pressure switch uh, and another open quarter inch over there. Hopefully that'll get hooked up to a train horn going forward. And then over here we have our uh, voltage converter. This steps down from 72 volts to 12 volts and is capable of pushing out 30 amps, which was important for our compressor. Coming around to the front, you'll see we have our two bags here set up. These are quarter inch JIC hydraulic fittings to quarter inch NPT. Here we have DOT air fittings. Uh, the importance of the DOT air fitting is this little inner sleeve here, which helps keep uh, the hose lat locked in. Um, for the suspension in the front and rear, uh, we tee the bags together, and then we come off on another tee that runs over to the uh, air gauge, so we know how much pressure is in there. Um, same thing for our rear. This is coming off of the paddle switch for the rear, tees over into our air gauge. Air is distributed to the paddles via this little box here, uh, half inch coming in from the tank, and then this is neck down. This goes into the air pressure gauge as well. It tells us the pressure in our tank. Um, and then we also have this fuse box here. Uh, this takes power from the converter, distributes it to our head unit and our air compressor and our lights and everything like that. Stepping around to the front, see we've got the speakers mounted left and right. We've got our voltage gauge for the battery. We've got our front and rear manual paddle gauges, along with a pressure switch, or excuse me, a uh, switch for cutting off the compressor. Just in case we don't want it running, even when the tank pressure gets low, we can manually cut it off. And there you can see front pressure, rear bag pressure, and tank pressure, all right there. Uh, we've also got our on-the-fly programmer for the Nefetis controller. One thing to note about the head unit there is it would lose power and reset itself when the compressor would kick on due to a voltage uh, drop. So we put in a, a capacitor here along with a diode to isolate the capacitor uh, from the circuit so that when the voltage drops as the compressor kicks on, the capacitor keeps power to the head unit and the music doesn't stop playing so that's always really important but hopefully in the next video I'll get the front cowl put on and I'll lay this thing out and you guys can get a better look for what it looks like fully put together and completed